Alright, in the recent years, Pixar has been making just mistake after mistake. Um, Cars 2 was god-awful. Brave was just awful. Um, so I sit there wonder wondering about Monster University, thinking like, my god, what's going on with them? Ever since Toy Story 3, their films have just been crap. <laughs> um, but at least they're finally getting back on the right track, I think. Anyways, Monsters University, the long, I guess the long-awaited prequel, even though I don't know if it really needed a prequel, to, uh, uh to, uh, Monsters, Inc., of course. The Monsters, Inc., one of Pixar's probably most creative, one of their best films to date, I think. Um, I mean, it's not my favorite, but I, it's very good. Um, it's a neat, like... It's just really just creative, really neat with its writing. This film is interesting. Um, in that it, well, in the la you know, in the first one it was like, okay, here's how the society works, here's how they get energy, by monsters g going into the human world and scaring children to collect screams. This is based, this is on kind of the story of, um, and what's different about uh, this film from Monsters, Inc. is that this is more centered around Mike Wazowski, while the first one was centered around, uh, James P. Sullivan. Um, I think all the all the original actors are back. You know, John Goodman plays Sully. Uh, Billy Crystal plays uh, Mike Wazowski. Ow! Shit, just hurt myself. Um, Steve Buscemi plays Randall. Yeah, Randall's in this. Um, I kind of wish they did a little more with him. But, uh... And a few other things. Anyways, the initial story, because <laughs> I think I'm rammed on for about two minutes now. So what it is, um, when Mike Wazowski was a kid... <laughs> He was told that he wasn't very scary. Now, admittedly, someone something that cute looking, I can't imagine how scary he would be. So, and anyways, one day he's um, he's on a school trip when he's just a little kid, visiting the uh, the Skip Monsters Inc. factory, and then um, and then what happens is he sort of gets into a he gets into one of the doors into the human world by accident. And he gets out, and one of the monster the monster that whose door it was he's like, wow, I didn't see you. I didn't see you. He says, wow, you got some real talent. Then he gives, then the guy gives him his Monster University hat. So then we cut to years later, and uh, Mike is on his, is in, got into Monster University. And, um, well, his dream is to become top scarer. Uh, now, how well is that dream followed? Well, this is what I like about it. And, um, this makes, this, uh, this is what I like about it, is that, well, he meets Sully. Randall is actually his roommate, which I think I thought was hilarious. Randall's actually a really nice guy, you know, before he became an asshole. <laughs> um, and what it is, he's trying to just to fit in, and he's in Scaring 101, and while he knows everything, he probably knows every type of scare out there, what to do in any situation, he doesn't come across as scary. Like, everyone has sort of admitted to that, that he is just not scary. Um, which is, uh... A problem for him. Um, there's a great, uh... I don't know if i say it's a villain, but... Helen Mirren plays, uh... Dean uh, Hard Scrabble, sort of the... The, head ma the headmistress of the, um... Of the school. Of, uh, the, univer the, the university. And, um... So she kind of run runs the whole shebang. But, uh... Let me see. Oh. <laughs> and she's neat. She's a uh, really, really just clever design. She's like a dragon and like a centipede, and it's just great. Uh, there's a lot of great cameos in this. Like some, I just you know, I just my eyes would just sort of wander to the left and be like, oh, look, there's that cameo. Um, it is. Yeah, but this is proof that Pixar is getting back on track. Um, I don't think it was perfect, but I think it is. Um, it. They are certainly. Uh, getting back to <laughs> what they um, should be doing. Um, there's a little short. I'll just talk. There's a little short film at the very beginning, The Blue Umbrella, which is just this really just adorable film. Um, it's uh, it's really it's great. Um, a bit cheesy, but <laughs> that's just me. Um, but it's great, and uh, sort of Sully and um, I don't want to spoil too much. Sort of Sully and uh, 
Mike, they sort of form this unusual sort of friendship going, and they kind of team up with these other four guys. These four other monsters who, um, let me see if I can get them. There's, uh, Art, who's like this, like this big thing, right? He's like two giant legs and two little things. Then there's Scott Squishy, who's like, just this... <laughs> I don't even know what he is, he's like a little marshmallow. Then there's, um... And then there's, uh, Terry Perry, and Terry Perry, one's with an I, one's with a... One's with, uh, a Y. Um... And they're kind of cool. And then there's Don. Then, and then there's uh, Don, who's sort of like, kind of like a middle-aged guy. And this thing is neat is that I noticed with Don's character is that he kind of had a little wrinkles in his eye. I thought that was just a nice little touch. And a few other characters. Um, it is hilarious. Uh, like I'll just say that right off the bat, it is funny. It um, it's cute. It uh. I don't know what else to say, it's just, it's a good, it's a funny film. Um, I, uh, you know, um, like I said, I don't think it's perfect. Um, there were some bits I thought were a bit weaker than others. The, the ending is hilarious. Um, but there's some bits I think just, there was this really cool bit uh, towards the end, um, which was uh, really just fast. It's like really um, sort of uh, Mike's brain smart and um, Sully's like physical um, physical strength sort of coming together to sort of create something interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, but like I said, I still like, um, I still like Monsters, Inc. a bit more. Um, but it's still, it's still good. I mean, it's, it's friendly. I can't, I can't say it isn't friendly. But, uh, that's all I really have to say. So, um, I don't know what to say. I give it a 8 out of 10. It gets a A- minus from me, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, but it's, uh, this is, this is one my older brother was looking forward to for a long time, because he loves Monsters, Inc. Uh, but this is good. Um, I'd say, yeah, it is probably the best animated film of this year. I mean, I still like Epic a lot, but this one is pretty good. I don't know what other animation stuff's coming out this year. I mean, oh, I want to watch Turbo. Maybe that. Um, maybe Frozen, that's a di new Disney film, but the, I don't really know what it's about. Um, but, uh, it's enjoyable. So, um, <laughs> I've seen eight of the ten films I want to see this year. All I've left is The Wolverine and Pacific Rim, but <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll see something a bit smaller. But those are my thoughts, and, uh, see y'all later.